high. Claim your portion. In these 21 days of fasting, wash powers, I want to teach you, child of God, to claim your portion. Funeral services every month, every six months is not your portion. A life of injections and tablets is not your portion. A life of your husband beating you now and then and now you're like, it's going to be like that. No! Claim your portion. A life of tears every night is not your portion. A life of small, small salary. Thank you, Lord. We are not complaining, but we claim our portion. The Bible says, and Caleb went and said to Joshua, I was 40 years when Moses sent me to spy the land. 45 years have passed. I've not received my portion. I'm still strong as I was when I was 40. Give me my heel. Depression and fear and anxiety and rejection is not your portion. We refuse it. Thank God for the two rooms you have, but that's not your portion. You must go to your house. rent, but you must have your house. Claim your portion. Claim your portion. The Bible says a woman went to King Solomon and said, me and my friend, we stay in the same house, have two children. She slept and killed a child. And then she tiptoed at night and took mine. And now she's saying that the living one is mine, the dead one is yours. Eh? And I'm saying it's not my portion. And King Solomon said, bring a knife and cut the baby in two, two. And the other woman said, yes, cut it. And then she, she's like, Fenatum of Fire. You will not graduate, I will not graduate, let's both lose. That's not your portion. You will not lose. A dead future is not yours. A dead marriage is not yours. A dead marriage, a dead future, a dead career is not yours. It's not yours. A life of sickness is not yours. We refuse it. We come to King Jesus. King Solomon died. King Jesus is here. And he can save your future. A dead future is not yours. Claim your portion.